Good afternoon and welcome to DMS. We're really excited this afternoon that we have, as you can see behind me, the C-SPAN bus. Uh, we had an opportunity for this bus and the, the folks inside to come and visit with our students this afternoon. And so this is a, a great opportunity for our kids. Mr. Page here is our eighth grade social studies teacher. And I'm going to let him tell you how this opportunity came uh, to his attention. And then he let me know about it. And so here we are today. Mr. Page. Thank you. Um, we're very excited to have the C-SPAN bus here and it's a good opportunity for students to go and tour it and uh, like the tour guide told us a few minutes ago, presidents, governors, senators, all alike have been on this bus, have done uh, interviews on this bus, have had televised um, conferences on this bus. So it's just a really uh, great opportunity educationally for the students to, to see this and also see a news source that is unbiased and uh, tries to show from a, from a neutral angle. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, Ms. Fancher Knockley, one of our seventh grade teachers here at DMS, um, had a person that she knew that worked at C-SPAN and through him and through uh, multiple emails and a lot of time, uh, two years ago, like I said, we finally uh, were checked off the list and got the opportunity. They just finished 50 states uh, touring, including Alaska and Hawaii. They just came back from Alaska uh, a few, a little while ago. And uh, so we're very excited to have them here. So tell me a little bit about you guys. Okay, so my name, first of all, my name is Shannon. I'm with C-SPAN. And then my good friend over there is Doug. He's also with C-SPAN too. And we came all the way over here to say hello and uh, see how you guys are doing today. No, a little bit more than that. We're gonna talk a little bit about C-SPAN. So what are, who are you guys? What grade are you guys in? What are you learning right now? Eighth grade. Eighth grade, so okay, you guys are big time, eighth grade. And then what class is this? Mr. Page. Mr. Page. Okay, what are you guys Mr. learning in Mr. Page's class? Georgia State. Georgia State? Georgia State? History. <laughs> History, a whole bunch of good stuff? Okay, cool. So it sounds like you guys know all about C-SPAN then, because you know all about history, state, right? It's okay if you don't. That's what I'm here for. So, who's ever heard of C-SPAN before? It's okay, don't be shy. <laughs> You're like, uh, well, my teacher talked about it. Okay, so look around the bus. Tell me, what do you think we do? Drive around. Drive, Drive around, right? Look at some of the landmarks. Where do you think we're based out of? Are we based out Washington, of Georgia? Washington. Yeah, fantastic. Washington, D.C., awesome. Okay, so we're, let's say we're a news network. We're based out of Washington, D.C. What do you think we cover in Washington, D.C.? Government, you're just on a roll. Government stuff, exactly. So what kind of people would you see on a network that's in Washington, D.C. that covers government stuff? The Senate. The Senate? The Congress. Congress? Okay, you're gonna work for me and like so we're gonna be teammates here. Exactly. So you see politicians, you see presidents, the House and the Senate, all that good stuff. So your colleague is right. So you do see a lot of that too. But there are some people at C-SPAN that aren't politicians. So we're gonna play a quick game. And then we're gonna, it's called the Faces Game, and you guys are basically gonna shout out all the people you recognize. So let's see if you're any good. All right, I'm gonna step out the way. You said probably not. <laughs> all right, I'm stepping out of the way. So you just take a look here, it goes by super fast. When it says go, you just shout it out. So let's see here. Here we go, and go, shout it out. Who do you see? Oh, I'm here. Hillary! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Tom Hanks, I saw him. The Hamilton guy. The Hamilton dude. Who? <laughs> which which guy? Stephen Colbert. Okay, okay, not so bad, not so bad. You guys actually did pretty good. Some of those people you probably recognize, but you just like, what are their names? Exactly. Probably yeah. forgot. So who saw Demi Lovato on there? Yeah, what was she doing on C-SPAN, you think? 
Um, she was actually on Capitol Hill and she's talking about, so a lot of celebrities come um, to Washington DC and they like to talk to Congress or have hearings and talk about important issues. So one of my favorite times on Capitol Hill is when Bradley Cooper came and he's talking about mental health and a lot of issues with healthcare. And of course, Bradley Cooper, I mean, he's good looking. So of course I was tuning in, but you have a ton of different celebrities who come on C-SPAN as well, along with the Congress and the House and the Senate. All right, so you guys, you guys know all about the House and Senate. I'm gonna play one more video. Let me see if you know anything about this. See if you can recognize this guy. Now it says his Would name. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? All right, so what is do he doing like here? I do not like them with a mouse. Dr. Like Seuss, right? Yeah. I do not like them anywhere. I do not why, like why do you think he's, he's doing I do not that? Like them. Sam, I am. Would you eat them? Look, he's really into it, too. Would you eat them with a fox? Not in a box, not with a fox. Not in a house, not with a mouse. No. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Sam, I am. He's like so into it. So has anyone seen, that was an example of a filibuster. Has anyone heard of that before? So basically it's when um, someone on the Senate floor, they're not trying to yield time, so they're trying to take up time on the Senate floor. So yeah, that was not necessarily legislation. He was reading from, who said Dr. Seuss, Green Eggs and Ham? Yeah, he was reading from Green Eggs and Ham, and I believe they were talking about one of the health care bills, and that's why he was up there. So. C-SPAN, we cover the House and the Senate all in its entirety, right? So when they start their day to when they're in their day. So sometimes their day starts at 8 or 9 o'clock, probably just like, what time does school start here? Around 7. Oh, that's early. Okay. So sometimes the House and Senate aren't in that early, but sometimes they are. And sometimes they end their day at midnight, 9 o'clock, 5 p.m. It just depends. And C-SPAN, we stick with them all the way. So how do we do that though, right? Like what kind of networks do you guys watch typically? You don't have to say C-SPAN, I won't get offended. So when you watch TV and you're like, I wanna see what happened today in the news, what do you do? Fox, Channel 9. Channel 9. Do you some look at, do you look at your phone sometimes? Yeah. That's what I do most of the time. I'm, or I find news on Twitter, or Instagram. So yeah, there's all different networks, right? So let's say you're watching something, something really exciting happens and then what tends to happen? commercial break <laughs> yeah I love and hate commercials so I love commercials because they all have cool songs that go with them and sometimes I hate commercials because I'm like ah, oh, I was really into what I was watching so what if I told you that c-span doesn't have commercials that's weird right so why do networks have commercials in the first place advertising, advertising sponsors right money right so if we don't have commercials then how do we get funding is this a volunteer gig for me or what do you think? How do we get funding? The government. Government, good guess. That's the most popular guess, actually. What else? What do you think? Sponsors. Sponsors. A lot of people think ads, and I'm like, no, there's no ads on our website. People, they're like a, like a, a public thing, kind of like fundraising like thing. So actually, what does it say here? Created by what? Cable. Cable, right? So who's ever heard of Spectrum before? Right? Okay, all of you have. So we work with cable and satellite companies all around the country, and that's how C-SPAN gets funding. So about six cents per cable subscriber goes to C-SPAN. So it doesn't sound like a lot, right? We are a nonprofit organization, but you combine that with all cable subscribers all around the country, it's not too bad, right? And so that's how we can bring you three networks to show you what's going on in Washington, D.C. Kind of a window into Washington, per se. We have three networks, C-SPAN 1, Two, any guesses what the third one's called? Three. Yep, C-SPAN 3. And so C-SPAN, live coverage of the House, C-SPAN 2, coverage of the Senate, and C-SPAN 3, all those cool hearings I was telling you about. Sometimes celebrities, sometimes not. Get my drift? Tracking, tracking with me? Okay, cool. One last thing. So you guys ever need a primary source? You guys know what a primary source is, right? Tell me what a primary source is. I, I, I don't know. You know, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. So if you guys are ever looking for that, you can search our video library here. So really good for education, really good for teachers. So let's say you're doing a paper and you're like, okay, I need a quote from the president and I know he said something about immigration during his last press conference or last speech. You can type President Trump here and so we'll go to his page and then you can type up immigration in the transcript and it'll show you where he said it on his speech so you can use that as a citation in your papers really easy to do i wish i knew about this in college it would have saved me some uh, late nights 
So always know cspan.org, place for you to go for all those primary sources needs. All right, one last thing I have to tell you about because it's an opportunity to win some cash. So yeah, you're like, oh, I want to listen to that. So we have an annual documentary competition. It's called Student Cam. And so we do this every year and it's a nationwide uh, competition. So it's open to middle school and high school students. And this year's theme is what does it mean to be an Amer what does it mean to be American? Not what does it mean to be an American, but what does it mean to be American? And so it's a five to six minute documentary using a little bit of C-SPAN video and then also has to be balanced. And then the grand prize is $5,000. So pretty nice. And that goes to the student. So if you can just think off off the top of your head, what would you think would be, what would be a good, good idea to do your documentary on? What does it mean to be president. American? Okay, say that again. The president. President, right? What do you think? Say that again. A day in your life. A day in your life. What do you think? Amendments. Amendments. Yeah. What do you think? Huh? Human rights. Human rights. Yeah. There's a ton of things that you can do this documentary on. So basically, it's a broad question because there are no right or wrong answers, right? All we want you to do to make your case and you have to show varying viewpoints, right? Because C-SPAN, we're a nonpartisan network, right? So we're not one party or the other, we're straight down the middle. So we want these documentaries to be balanced, okay? So different viewpoints, get good interviews, five to six minutes, easy peasy. So the deadline is January 20th, but if you have questions about it later, feel free to holler at me. All right, enough with all this stuff. I'll tell you a little bit about the bus and how cool it is. So who can guess how much this bus costs, you think? Uh, over 5,000. Over 1,000? Wait, wait. You okay. said 5 million? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That would be decked out. But you're not too far off. What do you guys think? 25,000, what do you think? You're like, I have no clue. What about you? 3 million. 3 million. 1.2 million dollars. So you're not like too off. So it's pretty, when it's fully decked out, it's that much. So you see all these screens here. You're actually sitting here. Has anyone been in a studio, a television studio before? Which one? Right here or George, Atlanta? Oh, cool. So this is a mobile studio. So we're actually where you three are sitting. We're kind of, that's kind of the hot seat because you got like the backdrop right behind you. And then if you look right there, there is a camera. So when we do interviews, all you would have to do, if we were interviewing you, so look straight ahead in that camera right there. Right here to the left is another camera. It's a side camera because you know you need multiple angles, right? You can't just have a boring static shot. And where you're standing, now right now my coat is there, so don't pay attention to that, but that's a mini control room. So you can probably go in there and you can look. There's buttons, there's different monitors to make this look good on television. We, we have one of these on campus. They have their own WDMA. Ooh! Ooh, I might have to get a, I might have to get a tour. I have five, and so we add more lights. We have to turn off the generator because that's kind of loud, right? You can't do an interview with that loud noise, right? So we have the ability to go live here in this area. Right here is a selfie station, so feel free if you have your phones, have a seat in the chair, grab the mic, of course, and you can take a selfie. And then right here is our 360 video. It's a touch and swipe. So there's different videos that show up here. You can take a look at, and then. The most fun part, all the way in the front of the bus, we have 11 interactive tablets with quizzes and videos and other ways you can explore C-SPAN content. So, if you guys don't have any questions for me, I think it's time to have some fun. So, you guys can stand up and you guys can explore the selfie station, the 360, or those tablets. Let me know if you have any questions. You can take a look in that control room. Just don't hit any buttons. One, two, three. How do you go? Thanks for visiting with us this afternoon.